Okay, apparently the door is already open. Let's just hope there's... Let, let me prepare myself. Let me just prepare myself. Okay, maybe not that. Uh, maybe Yeah, let me just prepare myself. Johnny Cash? I'm here to ask you a question about your wife. Oh, okay, there he is. He seemed... Oh, he seemed calm. Hi. Are you... Jo oh, okay, not Johnny Cash. I'm sorry to call you Johnny Cash. <laughs> Johnny Gunn. Hey, Johnny Gunn. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Oh, for freak's sake, really? You this is how you treat your guests? That's right. What do you want? Your wife is dead. Wife. Which one? Which Excuse one? Me? How many did you have? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Are you freaking kidding me? You know what? He, he being an asshole to me. I'm not going to be nice to him. Um, I'm going to say this. The dead one. The one whose body they found torn apart by some animal. She has a name, you know. Angie to those who knew her. Angela to you. So you did know already. Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you. So, here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Okay. I'm gonna ask him, where were you tonight? Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie, doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? Okay, this guy's so calm about it. I don't think he's... No, 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 no. They will try to fool you. What I think doesn't matter yet. What matters are your answers. Make them clear and honest. Otherwise, you'll make things miserable for yourself. Miserable? <laughs> That's like offering me a promotion. A woman I used to love is dead, and a jackass I've never seen is here to accuse me of it. You can't make my life any worse than it is. Where were you? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? Do not blame on the cockroach. I can talk to cockroach, okay? I got that abilities. Do not try to accuse the cockroach, okay? Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I'm gonna say this. It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Did you know Giradelli or maybe Powell? No, I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And you're all doing fine now, relatively. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I should press the sympathizer, for freak's sake, I was too late. Um... You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. But I'm actually surprised. Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? No. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A oh, year. you've been lonely? And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. 
You've had a hard time adjusting to life after Bell Tower. No more than anyone else. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Okay. Find compelling evidence. Travel to Prakaska. Okay, I need to find an evidence. What the hell am I supposed to find? I really don't know a lot about the bell tower. If you if you played this game before, I mean the first game, you know about bell tower, you should comment down below. Oh, what's this? I see something there. Hold up. Hold up. Dear Mr. Gun, uh can Augmented hand itch. Okay. The sensation you're describing are not possible. 2024 was a good year for hands. It's no more possible for the knuckles to itch than for your palm to sweat or for your finger to leave prints. Why mecha mechanically speaking, this thing cannot happen given the model you have installed. It strikes me that you continue avoiding the greater problem. The bell tower had you augmented against your will. I'm afraid there's no cream I can prescribe for that ideally. I would, pref I would refer you to my colleague, Dr. Halep. If you're interested in speaking to her, let me know. Just keep in mind that your insurance has expired, Dr. Henrik Rosen. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, now what? Must be tripping. Okay. Okay, I already found the evidence. Okay, that's good. So now where should I go? Should I go back? Detective, I got something new for you. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. Good, good choices. About the case. Complete. Uh, let's talk about the case. Let's talk about the case. All right, so talk. Maybe I should ask about the modus operandi. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh? A fingerprint. I must have. How come you missed that one? This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Why then is this guy so eager to link to this Johnny? What is his name again? Johnny. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. I do not feel good Keep about this detective. She was Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. Okay, I don't trust this officer. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. <sighs> The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the AUG removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder. That's right. It reminds me, you know. Remind of who? There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named um, Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and AUG removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. 
He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so yeah. eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. <laughs> okay. Anything Good tip. Scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. Just check it out about the broken glass. Why the freak is this detective acting so shit? I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Yeah. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? This detective is the shittiest detective I've seen in my life. He can't find anything. He got a lot of cops and none of them find anything. What the freak? What the freak did you guys do here? To shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. You know what? I should choose that. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. Look, I didn't find who the killer is. Sometimes you have to admit there just isn't enough to go on. Yeah. But the pieces don't fit. Not yet, anyway. But I do know Johnny Gunn didn't kill his wife. How can you be sure? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are yeah. alloy. Yeah, his freaking hands got strangled. problem. He wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. Alright. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Okay guys, I think I have to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, if you like this video, go ahead and press the like button really hard. I really appreciate it. If you don't want to miss any of my video, go ahead and press the subscribe button. And you won't miss any of my video or my future video. 
and I love you guys and as always peace upon to you guys okay I'm out I'm out I'm out